Hello, my friends, and welcome to part 40 of the Avondale Household Let's Play. Can you guys believe it? it is part number 40 all freaking ready? Gosh, well, you know, I say already, but it has been like two months, hasn't it? Wow. I'm just thinking back to the very beginning of this Let's Play now that we're approaching the end of it. And, you know, this is my very, very, very first Let's Play, and I'm just feeling so nostalgic and, um, I don't know, reminiscent right now. <laughs> um, those of you guys who've been here from the beginning, I mean, you, you know, you know? But, um, anyways, let me not go all sap mode on you. <clears throat> Currently, Miss Charlotte is chatting on the phone with her new boo, Randall, who is not new, not so new at all. Her first boo, her first love, and now loves again. <laughs> um, I did play a little bit off camera, and uh, uh, Drew has made a friend in one of his um, one of his high school mates, I suppose, <laughs> classmates. Yes, there we go. Jeez, my goodness gracious words. Do you know them? <laughs> but he did make a he did make a buddy, so. I'm thinking we could have them hang out a little bit, do some fun stuff together, you know, all that jazz, all of that good stuff, and, um, oops, wrong one, wrong one, meant to zoom in on Charlotte, no, no. Some of you guys were asking me to move in their little, their baby sister with them, to which I say n no, <laughs> only because, you know, I mean, they're, she's, Greg and Sharice's child and she's a baby and if Charlotte doesn't want to have a baby right now why would she want to raise a baby period you know what I'm saying um I know Greg and Sharice are elderly people now but they're perfectly capable of raising her themselves um she's actually now a toddler and I'd love to go visit her at some point Chris Crystal Castle is coming home with Drew excuse me excuse me did we say you could come home with us missy Mm -mm, I don't think we did. I'm so confused by all the blonde-haired, dark-skinned folks in in our in our town. I don't really know where they came from. Um, it's kind of interesting. Definitely quite different, you know. If I do say so myself. Oops, no, 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 not you. Can you unclog it for me, my dear? Just unclog that Tala for me really quick. So in the last part, we had a freaking amazing, amazing date with our new boo. And it was phenomenal. I'm really upset that Bertha isn't our coworker anymore. Like she switched jobs apparently. And I'm just like, oh, really? Really? Was that necessary? <laughs> we like were besties and now, you know. Our job performance pertaining to um, all that good stuff is non-existent. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to ask her to leave, actually. Can we ask her to leave? Can we? I guess not. What the hell? Why can't we ask her to leave? I'm confused. What? Well, whatever. Okay. Well, Charlotte's going to work anyways, so... What we're gonna have him do um, is invite his buddy over. Sure, I'll come over in a little while, perfect. And you, we're gonna ask to leave now. Excuse me. Charlotte, what the hell are you doing? Go to work. You crazy, crazy, crazy woman. What is going on here? I am so damn done with this. You know what we're gonna do? Oh, Jesus. God dang it. I hate this crap. Oh, I'm about to shoot somebody in the damn face is what I'm about to do. Object. Can we delete it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I made it even worse. Oh, my gosh. Crap. Um. <laughs> that's what I get for trying to be a smartass. Well, does anybody know how to... Because they're pretty much trapped in their house now. Yeah, I'm going to have to go figure that out really quick. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. And I figured out what the little cheat was to allow me to edit outside the lot. And I just got rid of all of these damn gates. 
just got rid of them all so we didn't even have to worry about that crap anymore because I don't see the point in having a gate when we have a damn door, okay? Gosh. <laughs> okay, but our buddy is now here, so we're pretty much good to go. I'm going to go ahead and give him some love really quick. Um, I don't know why we have to walk all the way freaking across. Are you serious? Like, I'm so done with this game, you guys. I'm so freaking done. And now we're stuck not moving. Like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, my God. Affection. Pet him. Affection. Talk to him. Affection. Let him sniff our hand. Okay. Okay. Now, where's our buddy? Because I know he's here. So where'd he go? Did he go to our unit? I don't... I don't see him here. Um, we buzzed him in, but maybe we were too damn late. Gosh dang, nabbit. Okay, can we go home? Okay, so we can go home. I'm like so done with these damn routing issues. I get so freaking frustrated. And I'm sure you guys must as well. <sighs> okay, hopefully he gets here soon because it's really late. Oh, wait, I think that's him right there. Invite inside. Okay, let's go do that. Come on in, brother. Flag. Yeah, that was me trying to be a dude. I know, it didn't work out so well. It happens, you know. What can you do? Okay, so since we finally got our buddy over, let's go ahead and chat with him. Friendly, ask about his day, friendly. Um, do you want to sleep over? Yeah, we definitely want to have our buddies over for the night. Oh, yes. Are you joking? I'm done. I'm freaking done with this damn game. Ah, <sighs> I'm so done. I'm so done. <laughs> How many times has this happened in the past? Like, oh my god, are you serious? Why can't you just walk in front of him and talk to him? I'm so, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to get ridiculously upset with you guys on camera. But this is just pissing me off at this point. And I'm just, ugh, I can't deal. Like, I need to de-stress. I need to look at kittens and puppies and de-friggin' stress. Is he leaving already? Friendly, do you want to sleep over? Ooh, did we really get a promotion? Sweet, she's a music talent scout and earned a raise of seven bucks per hour, which we all know why she earned that raise. I mean, let's be real. She's dating the boss. I mean, hello. Color, it's kind of obvi, you know. <laughs> okay, we can actually talk to the damn guy now. So, do you want to sleep over, friendly? Ask about your day, friendly. Um, talk about books, talk about the burglary that happened. Oh, that's right, so we had a burglary, it was cray. It was cry cry. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and come and eat some food really quick. I think our buddy's gonna go ahead and sleep over with us, which is great. Um, we will go ahead and buy him a sleeping bag really quick so that he has somewhere to sleep because that's important, you know. And where are those even sold? Because I, I don't remember. <laughs> they are sold under beds, which is good. Um, I guess we'll put it there. I don't even know if that's gonna fit properly, but we shall see. We shall most definitely see. If it works, it works. Wait, I really don't think he's gonna be able to access his bed with it right there, so I'm gonna move it back here, and maybe that will work. I hope so, but I mean, knowing this damn house, it probably won't. I'm so done. <laughs> so done. <laughs> So, they're, so now they're at good friend status, which is fantastic. We'll go ahead and give him a friendly hug. Now, some of you guys were saying you thought he might be leaning towards the, you know, gay side. And I can see it. So we're going to go ahead and test the waters. We're going to see how it goes. I have to move in. Honey, bunny, honey. No, no, no. No, no, no. So what if we did consider attractiveness? 
I know he I don't think he's like inherently gay, so I don't really know. Yeah, he doesn't find him at all attractive. Probably because he isn't inherently gay, but we'll go ahead. We'll try it. Uh, he seems kind of receptive to it. He really doesn't look like the type to be, you know, gay as well. So <laughs> I was kind of like, hmm. How is how exactly is he gonna take? I I sorry I paused. I thought I heard. I was so sure I heard somebody. Um. Oh, are you serious? God damn it. I get so freaking tired of getting interrupted by your bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was not even thinking of what I was saying. Like, I wasn't even... <laughs> I was saying it more jokingly than anything, but I completely forgot to censor myself. I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I can't even... I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to forgive me and my horrible potty mouth because I know it is something serious. He's not really into it anymore because I guess he's tired. Which is understandable, but we're going to just go ahead and have him go to sleep. Or grab some food and then go to sleep. Charlotte has already beaten us to it. She's heading to bed right now. Timon is eating some food and then he's probably going to go ahead and use the toilet. And uh, other than that, he seems to be pretty much good to go, which is good. And we'll have him go ahead and do some scratch scratch. And oh. Drew is finishing up his food right now. Looks like my dude is going ahead and sleeping in the sleeping bag, which is great. He's not using Drew's bed, which I appreciate massively. And it looks like everybody's just pretty much good to go. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and speed past everybody sleeping. We will be back when somebody wakes up. Alrighty, y'all, we are back. And as I suspected, being nice and awake has helped um, kind of uh, loosen up Mr. Mr. Darren here. So we're going to go ahead and cue them up for a little flirty flirty and see how receptive he is to it. I am going to kind of speed through it a little bit because they do have school really soon. And I would like for them to be able to at least have their first kiss before they go to class. So let's see. <gasps> they did kiss! Oh my goodness. First romance, first kiss. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Darren's totally digging it. That's his name, right? Yeah, Darren. <laughs> Ma doesn't even pay attention. So why don't we... Why don't you know they're young and they have the time, so why don't they go ahead and make it official? <gasps> oh, wonderful! So now they can go ahead and go to school. They're gonna go ahead and go to school together, which is wonderful. And now they're together. His first little romance, his first high school love, you know, much. Much the same as it was for Charlotte. You know, kind of happens at the tail end, but it happens nonetheless. I need to replace this damn pet cat post. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Poor kitty cat didn't have a cat post to scratch no more. Um, we're going to go ahead and have Charlotte clean up around the house a little bit because it is a dang mess up in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she wants Randall to move in with her. I really think she's quite serious about it this time. I really wasn't sure just how serious she was about, you know, taking it to this level with Randall. But I think she's pretty serious about it, which I'm actually a little surprised by. You know, I'm very impressed with her. Um, let's go ahead and move these clothes to the dryer. Chill out, Charlotte. You're okay. And I am speeding through this because I just don't see the point in wasting time with it. Now, we have a little bit of time before she has to go to work, so I thought we'd go ahead and invite Randall over. Um, in the meantime, before he gets here, why don't we go ahead and have her, uh, no, not check herself out, eat leftovers, pancakes, go ahead and have her eat some pancakes. So he should be coming up here right now, Mr. Randall, yep, he sure is coming on in. So now that she's finishing up, we'll go ahead and have her romantic, hold hands with him. Now we can't, we cannot ask him to move in through the romantic, you know, thingamajig. They're like so in love with each other and so totally <laughs> on it that she's just like, she's totally into him. 
They're already at completely irresistible with each other. Just can't even resist. All right, so we're just going to talk to him, be social with him. And then we will ask to move in. What? Oh, dang it. Ugh, maybe he starts work earlier than we do. That is so damn annoying. Oh, heavenly days. Well, let's have her clean up some more at least. Ay, ay, ay. What a mess. Nothing is going the way it's supposed to, guys. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. You're giving me some freaking heart attacks up in here. I gotta be honest. You sure are. You sure are, my girl. Poor Timon. He's always in need of some freaking socialization. It is, it is something serious. It is something serious. Okay. Oh, Drew, my dear. You coming home already? Did they not feed you? Like, what the heck is going on? Sorry, my phone is ringing. I'm pretty sure it's like the UGA siren alert thing in my trigger. I don't go to UGA, but I was going to go to UGA. And it was, you know, telling me stuff. <laughs> I, I had already signed up for the thingamajigger, so. Alright, so she's getting clean laundry. We're gonna move the clothes to the dryer and get more clean laundry. She's just doing a good old job being all Miss, uh, Miss, Miss Housewife up in here. You go, girl. Um, Drew is home right now. He's gonna go ahead and make himself some lunch. Let's see, does he have anything he wants to do? He doesn't seem to have any desires in reference to his new boo-boo <laughs> who is a babysitter apparently he probably babysits his sister and that's how he met him you know that's probably how it went how it went down you know what i'm saying um she has to go to work really soon so while she's just kind of standing around we might as well have her play alone and try and improve her guitar skill a little bit ay 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 shut up phone gosh i'm sorry if y'all are hearing the buzzing it's annoying me of course, everything right now is annoying me. <laughs> Cause you know how when you just, you play a game long enough that it just irritates you, you know? Because it just won't go the way it's supposed to go. Um, so she's gonna be heading to work right now. So what we're gonna go ahead and have her do while she is at work is try to actually meet up with more of her, you know, meet more musicians. Because I'm pretty sure she has some different musicians now, so. And since Drew is home by himself, we're gonna have him clean up. Honey, you're gonna have to chill on the uh, sleeping business right now because this place is a damn. Are you serious? He can't clean the damn counter, but he can clean out the litter box? This game, I'm telling you, this game makes no sense sometimes. None. Absolutely no sense at all. And it just makes me angry. <laughs> It just makes me angry. Okay, so since he's asleep, oh, my poor cat needs some attention. Gosh, you poor freaking thing. I'm so sorry, baby. What are you doing? He's laying on the newspaper. Oh, sweetheart. I didn't even know you could do that, but that seems kind of sad. Like, oh, think of all the kitties that lay on newspapers that were homeless. <laughs> such a freaking sap I'm telling you my poor thing needs some serious socialness and my girl isn't gonna come home for a while oh I'm so sorry honey I'm so sorry she's making some good bank though let's be serious she is making the bank them college years yo they paid off they totally paid off I'm gonna go well shoot he's still not good enough to wake up he won't be good enough to um, to do his homework or anything, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and wake him up and we're gonna have him give Timon some attention. So we're gonna have him affection, feed, treat, talk to him, just give him some love, you know what I'm saying? We'll have, what the hell, Drew? Come on. <laughs> You serious? Oh my God, are you serious? I'm so done. I am done. I'm pretty sure it's just the layout of this damn house, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm freaking irritated by it. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh 
had to lose my mind. Now he's tired again. He can't even do his damn homework. Oh my god, I'm just done. I'm just done. I'm about to move them into a friggin' ranch and be done with it. And pray to God that they don't have any more routing friggin' issues. I'm gonna chill with the musicians. Improve her relationship with her band members. That's what we're gonna do right now. Look, boo-boo, I wanna give you more attention, but I can't even, like, talk to you. Or anything like that, apparently, if you're not in a specific friggin' position. Okay. Thank God. We can now give him some attention. Ah, <sighs> Lord Jesus. Lord freaking Jesus. What are you doing? Why would you sleep there when you can sleep anywhere else? Like in your own bed for one? Girl, I love her work outfit. Hello. Hello. And of course, we can't sit down and watch the damn TV. Oh my god, what else is new? What is new? Oh, I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> I don't want to sp Why are there Z's above his bed if there's nobody sleeping? I'm so confused. I don't want to spend this entire part, you know, moaning and groaning. I'm really sorry if that's pretty much what I've done. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It wasn't my intention, but it, it happens. Um, I'm going to have her eat some leftovers really quick. You're fine, Charlotte. I'm about to smack you. <laughs> Eat you some damn food, okay? We ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And then we gotta clean up this whole damn house. Please tell me we don't work today. Thank God. Because I don't think I could honestly handle it. Just go to sleep, Charlotte. You can't deal with it anyways. Just go to freaking bed. I'm done. Done. Drop the microphone. Done. <laughs> I'm gonna end this part right here guys before I freaking lose my head. I want to thank y'all so much for watching and I'm sorry if I was just majorly B mode, B word mode in this in this part but um leave your comments and suggestions down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you have not already and my friends I am going to see you in the next part of whatever I make. Bye guys.